Hi everyone, I'm here tonight to answer your New York City questions about living in New York, working in New York, or traveling to New York. So type your questions below and I'm happy to answer any questions about New York City. It looks like there's a couple people in here. How's it going guys? Where are you messaging in from today? Oh wow, 34 of you guys are already up in the house. Up in the house in New York. Someone says hello from Brooklyn. Um, I'm Ariana Odell. Um, you guys can also find me on Instagram. I'll put my thing in the chat. Looks like somebody wants to be in the video. Let's, let's see. Where you can ask your questions about New York. So if you have a question, feel free to put it in the comments below or you can DM the page and I'll answer, I'll also get to your questions. Um, is this working? Oh, so look, someone wanted to join the live stream. Can you introduce yourself to everyone? Maybe it's not working. Um, is it working? Uh, I think you'll have to send another request. It's not, not working. So it's someone's today's first day in New York City. Welcome to New York City. That's awesome. How are you liking the city so far? You're going to be traveling to New York for New York Fashion Week. And what do I recommend to pack? Um, right now, it's really cold. <laughs> I think the weather today is negative 12 degrees. Um, so I would recommend a big jacket, a hat, gloves, scarves, just lots of things you're going to need to stay warm. Um, so somebody said it's their first day today in New York City. What brought you to New York City? Hello from India, from Brazil. Um, looks like someone else is trying to wants to be in the video. <laughs> um, from Chile. Do I know Brazilian people? Yes, I know uh, Michelle Taylor. Uh, no sa, no sa, se você me mata. <laughs> um, I've been to Brazil. Looks like someone wants to say hi in this. Did this work? Hello? Hello. Hi, what's your New York so, question? What's my New York question? That's my, uh, my question. What's best uh, metro station for the photography on mm. New York. The best metro station for taking photography, I think right now a nice metro station yes. is Penn Station. They just rebuilt it. Yes. Yeah, so I think that's nice. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Turkey. Oh, okay. My English is bad. I'm oh, sorry. Nice. Merhaba. <laughs> Merhaba. <laughs> nice to meet Nesalsen. That's my Turkish. <laughs> uh, that's great. But do you have any other questions? Nope. Okay, well, thanks for thanks for joining for a little bit. I'll let someone else ask a question, but nice to meet you. You can follow me, Ariana Odell, on Instagram. Take care. Bye. Bye. Okay, so it looks like there's some other people from Colombia, Ola, um, Brazil, from Egypt. Wow, there's so many people from all over the world. So let's get to some of the questions that people are asking. Um, so the weather in New York is freezing. So make sure you have your gloves. <laughs> and yes, some engineering is life. Just said to dress in layers. They recommend that too. Um, someone from Iran said that they're studying in Turkey, but they're going to move to New York in six years. Oh, I wish you the best with that. New York is an amazing city. I hope you can come and feel free. If there's anything we can do to help, send us, send us a message. And we're happy to help in any way we can. Um, someone wants to know if we wear masks. Um, yes, we do. I was going to show you one of my masks. <laughs> I, so I didn't introduce myself too well in the beginning, but I'm an entrepreneur based in New York City. I'm also a songwriter and I have a mask company <laughs> where I make different masks. Um, so it's been fun to design masks during the pandemic that are a little more fun to wear than just some of the, the sterile hospital ones. But yes, everybody's still wearing masks. I think it's very important to pre protect the safety of everyone else in the city, the elderly, anybody who is immunocompromised. So it has um, been a rough year, <laughs> but New York is staying strong and the city is still as beautiful as ever with the, the landscape and Central Park, but there are a lot less people. Okay, so any more questions? Um, let's see. Um, so Colombia, Mexico, hola. Um, mi español es muy malo. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, Havad's near Penn Station. Nice. 
can you you want to join the live stream and have questions i go ahead you just have to ask you have to um send a request and then i can accept it um someone else is here from turkey wow there's lots of people from turkey up in the house tonight um someone from queens and you're freezing in queens also um brazil argentina the great, greatest city in the world i think there's a lot of amazing amazing cities new york definitely is one of them but your cities are all great too um someone says the people who wear masks are cool people yes the, <laughs> they i think they are cool people who wear masks um people say loving new york um is new york institute of technology a good school so I didn't go there personally, but I've heard good things from other people. It depends what you're studying. Um, what kind of technical degree are you looking to study and get? Um, what's my Instagram? My Instagram, here, I'll post it in the, in the comments for you guys. But I'm always happy to answer questions about New York, about entrepreneurship, about startups, design, art. Um, oh, a Hamilton reference. <laughs> and let's see. Oh, there's a lot of people requesting to go live. Okay. Um, so let's do this in order since there's quite a few people. It looks like Gustavo wants to say hi. From Long Island, you run Dublin Explore. Nice. How's, how's that going? Looks like we got another, another guest with a question. How's it going? Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm, I was playing video game and all of a sudden the video appeared here. Like, I was listening to you, talking to the people. I'm also Brazilian, but oh, okay. I do I do live in Queens. I live in Jackson Heights. Oh, okay. So you heard my turbo Portuguese. <laughs> no, it's awesome. It's good. Um, so my question is, you know, like, since, like, I'm, 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 I've been living here for, like, two years now. Mm -hmm. uh, I was living in Philadelphia before, and I'm actually studying here. Um, and the question is like, you know, like where would you say that's a good place to move to? Um, we're looking for another apartment and we look like in Forest Hills because of the mm -hmm. price and because of the space. Mm -hmm. And do you know, like, you know, any other area that's a good area to move to like Brooklyn or, um, um what Harlan or what what are you looking for particularly is there a certain like price level that you're looking for or a certain type of scene that you really like are you looking um, for more of like an artist community or are you looking for more residential more residential like you know maybe like you know like family style building and area like this um just like because i need a like a bigger place like with two bedrooms I know it's going to be a little bit more expensive. Like right now, I live in one bedroom in Jackson Heights since 1950. Mm -hmm. And like Forest Hills for two two bedrooms, like uh, 2400 um, mm -hmm. which is still very expensive, but it's cheaper than, you know, renting one apartment in the city. Yeah, uh, so there's a, a lot of different sites. You can just get a, a good estimate for the price. Um, one, are you looking for a roommate or you're looking for no. moving with a roommate? No, I, I live with my husband, so it's just me and him. Oh, okay, yeah. so you're you're looking for a place for both of you guys. Um, yes. I've, so there's a lot of different sites that can help you look for real estate prices. One, do you know Street Easy? Yeah, I've I've actually looked at that one, and it like you know, um, I've seen so many apartments empty, but when you look at Street Easy, there's not many available. I don't know if they're hiding the apartments or something, but it's not there. Hmm. On Street Easy? Yeah. Okay, let's uh, but, like, I look, look at Zillow. So we have a sense for everyone. So you're looking for a two-bedroom apartment? Yes. Okay, and, like, I, you know, live, live stream, uh, get your questions answered. So let, let's look. Um, so what's your maximum price? Uh, 2400 For a two-bedroom, so let's see. 2400 We'll put 2500 because that's the the max in here yeah. um so astoria it looks like there's places for rent two bedrooms one bath and also another thing is like the square feet uh, i was looking is like a thousand square feet which it's kind of impossible to find that that area oh yeah this is only 650 so i think i would ch take a look at street easy and then go back to did you do the filtered search yeah i did hmm 
So there's another site called Line City that you can also look at for listings. They have different ones than Street Easy. What's the name again? Uh, Line City. Okay. Um, so that's one that I would check for apartment listings. Um, and then another thing is just to call up brokers and you can ask them and they can go through their inventory for you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I, I actually, you know, um, I have one person now that someone recommended to me. So like, you know, it's it's the first time moving. I, I really want to, I think mm -hmm. now that like the pandemic came, I think it's a really good opportunity to find a bigger pla place for like a lower amount of money. Um, so I, I, I think one thing is if you see that there's availability, you can negotiate a lot lower. So you can go see that place. You'll say, I see it's empty. Would you be willing to take X? Oh, okay. I, so do you think that people would negotiate? Yeah, definitely. Because they're not filling their buildings right now. Um, so I think look at prices that are a little bit higher, but then ask to negotiate to your price range. Okay. So that's okay. what I would recommend. Um, but it was nice to meet you. And if you have any other questions, feel free to DM the page. Yes, thank you. And and hi, Brazilian friends. Oi. <laughs> thank you. Bye. And tell, tell everyone your Instagram so they can follow you too. Okay, guys, you can follow me on like Mustafa X zero. I like I, I have some pictures of New York and um, and all over uh, other places I go. So yes. Okay, perfect. Nice to meet you. Thanks for nice your question. You. We'll see. Okay. see who else has one. Yes. Bye. Okay, if you guys have a question, feel free. Oh, so there's a lot of questions in here now. So let's see, let, I gotta scroll back to the questions because I, I missed a few of them. Um, I'm gonna get to everybody's questions, don't worry. <laughs> um, um, now there's some Italian, Brazil. Um, so someone wants to know which borough that I'm in. So I'm in Manhattan in the Upper West Side. Um, so someone asked questions on the question bar. Okay, we'll get to those questions too. Portugal, Hawaii. So how often do flights get canceled because of snow? So this year we are having a lot more snow than typical years. Um, so I think there's only been one heavy, heavy snow day where flights were getting canceled, but Make sure to call ahead with your airline and to check things online before you go to the airport. That's the only way to know. The weather is so unpredictable. Um, okay, someone's visiting New York in two cities. Nice, welcome. <laughs> um, so where should I go my first time going to New York City? There's so many fun things to do in New York City, but my favorite thing personally is to go to Central Park. Any time of the year, Central Park is amazing. It's um, a great free thing to do that the park just goes on and on. And there's a lot of tourists that only go around 59th Street, but you can also go up a lot higher. Central Park just goes for miles, so you can keep walking and see different things. Um, someone said they love me. That's, thank you. <laughs> love you guys too. Um, someone wants to know why they compare New York with Baltimore. I actually have never heard that comparison, so that's interesting. Um, but yeah, you're right. I, I've never been to Baltimore, so I don't know if they're alike or not. Someone wants to know what I'm studying. I haven't studied for 10 years. <laughs> I'm old. Um, I run my own business. I run a marketing agency here in New York City. I run an online store where I sell things like masks and yoga mats and different types of products. And I'm also a songwriter and New York is a very inspiring city for artists to be able to make music. If you want to check out my music, you can check it out by going to Outsource Feelings on any type of music streaming platform. Okay, let's see. How complicated is it to open a business? So actually, many people think that opening a business is complicated in general. Running a business is complicated, but opening is very simple. You just go to the State Department website and you get a business license for around $25. Um, so if you're an American citizen opening a business in New York, the actual licensing process is very easy and straightforward. Running the actual business, that's hard <laughs> and tiring, but it's worth it. And it's um, New York is a great place to meet other entrepreneurs and other creatives. So someone said, oh, Dublin's in lockdown. Oh, but you're in New York. Nice. We should meet. I need to have more fun New York friends. Um, my favorite place in New York. 
me personally it's central park um but i also love the brooklyn bridge and the dumbo area the skyline is very amazing and beautiful down there so someone said when taking pictures in new york can you take pictures without your mask um yes so i if you want to take a picture and you're six feet away from other people then i think it's okay to remove the mask very quickly to take a photo as long as you're not harming anybody else i think that's completely okay um Somebody says, hi, hi, how am I? How am I? I don't even know. I'm tired today. But I thought I would jump on a live stream to give you guys some New York tips. And is this a live stream that you would like to see more of, that you would like me to keep jumping on here and to give you guys more New York tips? So someone says that the West Village is an amazing place to live. West Village is an amazing place to live. I haven't lived there, but <laughs> I was there last night with friends and it was very vibrant and lots of bars and restaurants and yeah it's a great place um someone says long island um what are they saying about long island someone wants to know what i do for a living so i <laughs> uh, what i just said is um is that i have been running a marketing and pr agency called airlink marketing um for the past three almost four years now at this point um so we help companies get media exposure and help them get in newspapers and magazines Okay, time for more questions. We're gonna we're gonna put another guest up in here. Oh, there's a lot of questions. Okay, someone wants to know if I personally like Stranger Things. Um, Stranger Things was a very stressful show to watch before bed, so I liked it, but it was too many monsters for me. Um, oh, someone wants to know what my name is. Okay, so my name is Ariana Odell. You guys can find me on Instagram, Ariana Odell. Um, so that's my name. <laughs> Let's see some other questions. Um, Someone wants to know de qual ciudad eres. Uh, soy de Seattle. I'm from Seattle. Um, I speak Spanish, but very poorly. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, ooh, best hot pot. So Chinatown has a lot of really good hot pots that I've been to with friends. So that's what I would recommend. Um, ooh, I'm trying to think of the name of the place. I can't remember off the top of my head, but DM us and I can send you that name. Someone wants to know if I live in New York. Okay, let's see. We're, so we'll stop from questions for a while and we're going to see who wants to be in the live stream. So let's see. Because I'm waiting for somebody to pick up that I just invited. Hey. How's it going? Very well. Uh, so today's my first day in New York. Oh, today's your first new day in New York. Yeah, yeah, I just got my job here and it's my first day here. Nice, welcome to New York. What, are, what is your job here? Oh, I'm a full stack, uh, like a software developer and my company is in Brooklyn downtown. Oh, nice, exciting. Welcome to the city. How are okay. you liking it? On, it's a freezing day for your first day. Yeah, like I, I traveled from Boston, so not so much. Oh, okay, so you've, you might, you've probably been to New York a bunch then. Uh, no, I just came once before the lockdown on 8th of March and then on 12th of March, New York went to lockdown, so I had to travel back to Boston again. Oh, it. I see. What? So what kind of questions do you have about the city that I can help you with? Actually, I had none. I just wanted to be on your, uh, I just wanted to see your feeds and then ask you a question about what's your favorite tip, but everyone has asked them that, I guess. Oh, my favorite New York tip? Um, a tip, like a place to go or for favorite thing to do? Right. Favorite thing to do in New York? Mm, I like happy hours that have dollar oysters and cheap drinks. <laughs> that would be my favorite thing. So there's a lot of good places in Upper West. There's Crave Fish Bar, um, Mermaid Inn. Where are you living? Right now I'm in Brooklyn, but I'm looking to shift to New Jersey, like the Newport area, because the Manhattan view from there is amazing. Yeah, that's true. That is a really nice view. Um, but I hope you get settled in okay. And feel free to DM the page or me if you have any other questions. Oh, definitely. Like, okay. Have, have have a good night. Have you too. Good night. Okay. Thank bye. You. Okay. Should we bring in another caller or answer some more questions? Someone wants to know, you New Yorker, no, <laughs> I am a transplant from Seattle, but I've been here for five years. So you're getting a point of view from somebody who isn't a native, but has been here, um, been out and about and <laughs> doing lots of different things. Um, so some of my opinions would differ from a true New Yorker who is born and raised here. So I think that's something that we'll do more on this page of putting New Yorkers on the page who have lived here forever to give you guys advice. <laughs> Someone wants to know what the best candy store is. Um, 
I feel like candy store. I just go to CVS and get some get some gummies, you know. Um, but Dylan's candy bar is the is the famous one that a lot of people really like to go to. Okay, so somebody wants to know what do you think about the upper upper ugh, the Upper East Side and they're moving to 69th Street. Oh, so I actually used to live on 72nd Street. That area is very quiet and very residential, which is so nice because you'll get a great night's sleep. <laughs> There's not a lot of noise. Um, but you, you will need to walk up to find more good bars and restaurants. Um, when I was in 72nd, there, it, was, it was nice because there was a lot of grocery stores. Uh, ugh, I can't talk tonight. Grocery stores nearby, but I would have to go into the 80s to find like cool, fun, trendy bars and restaurants. But 69th, I love it. Upper East Side is the best. So I wish you the best there. Um, okay, more questions. Someone wants to know the best place to take a date in New York City. Um, oh, there's so many bars, but the, before the pandemic, the best place was a speakeasy. There's so many speakeasies um, in New York City. There's um, places like Bathtub Gin and Chelsea. Um, and there's just any any place um, neighborhood that you went to, there was a cool bar restaurant. But I think some of those places have opened up outdoor seating. So some of the places pre pandemic that were fun are still fun now. Um, okay, next question. Someone wants to know if I walk around the city and people watch. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, someone says that I'm beautiful and they love me. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, you guys are so nice. You guys can all be my friends. Um, what do I do for work? So I'm an entrepreneur that I run a marketing agency. I run an e-commerce store. You guys can check it out. It's called Ideas by Ariana. And then I'm also a songwriter and you can find my music on Outsource Feelings. Oh, so many questions. Um, I'm trying to get to them all. <laughs> so what, okay, this is a good question. What made me decide to move to New York City? So it's funny, I was making a list of the concerts that I wanted to see, and I wanted to see Ricky Martin. So I took a weekend trip from San Francisco to see Ricky Martin on Broadway. I got to New York, I'm like, this city's awesome, I'm gonna live here, and then I did. Um, so yeah, that's it was Ricky Martin that made me wanna move to New York City. Okay, so there's some other people that wanna be in the video. Emily, get Emily up in the house. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Good, what about you? Hey. Do you have a question about New York? Um, I don't know, I'm from New York, hey, but otherwise I wanted to go to New York. I don't know why. Yeah, I'm sorry? Yeah. I'm from the UK, but I've always wanted to go to, like, New York. Oh, nice, but... you should. I'll, I probably will. Do you have any questions about the city? Oh, I think Emily's breaking up. Um, okay, Emily has to recall because it, it just ended the call for some reason. Okay, let's see who else wanted to go live. Um, Antonio wants to wants to make an appearance. So let's say let's say hi to him if he picks up. Um, so if you'd like to ask a question live, just send one of the little requests, and I'll definitely add you guys so you can ask your question and tell everybody about you. Hi, how's it going? Hello? Oh, I think sometimes the audio is not working Hello. so well. Hi. What's your name? I'm sorry. My name is Antonio Pujols. Oh, um, I know I speak English. Where, where are you? I, I am Dominican. Oh, entonces hablas español. Dominican Republic. Dominican Republic. Ah, hablas español, sí. I, I speak I speak Spanish. <laughs> okay, what 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 is your uh, qué qué es tu pregunta para todos? Or cuál es uh, cuál es mi gramática es muy malo. Uh, what is your question? <laughs> Excuse me, you speak Spanish. Sí. Okay. Yo no hablo español, no hablo no hablo inglés. 
Ah, está bien. Entonces tú puedes preguntarme en español y voy a traducir para nosotros. Ok, ok, muy bien. ¿Qué, qué es tu pregunta de Nueva York? So, we're, at, we're um, finding out his New York question. Sí, sí, ok. Uh, eh, ¿Tú vives directamente en la misma ciudad de Nueva York? Sí, uh, he asked if I live in New York City. Uh, sí, yo vivo en Nueva York. So, yes, I live in New York. Ok, ok, ok. Bien. ¿Y has venido algún, en algún momento a República Dominicana? ¿Ha visitado? Uh, yo estaba en España por algunos años, pero... Uh, uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Dominica Repub uh, no, no, Dominican Republic, yo sé en inglés. So the Dominican Republic, I have not been. Uh, nunca, nunca estaba. Everyone in okay, here is probably okay. laughing. Mi español, es, mi gramática es muy mal, lo siento. Sorry, everyone, my Spanish okay. is not good, but uh, yeah. do you have any other questions? ¿Tienes otra pregunta? And no, no, está bien. Muchas gracias. Oh, okay, de, de nada. Have, have a good night. Buenas noches. Y uh, one day I will visit. Okay, okay. Bien, bien. Okay, bye. bye. Okay. Okay. More questions. Next, the next caller. So there's so many people that are trying to be in here. So it's, everybody will get their turn for sure. So Candace wants to wants to join. <laughs> Someone said I speak good Spanish. No, my Spanish is so bad. I need some practice. Hi, Candace. How are you? Hi, I'm good. I'm Candace from Canada, and it's super cold here, like colder than New York. But um, I have like a bunch of questions for you. So I am curious about, like, you said you had moved to New York a few years ago. Um, and you talked about movie because of like music and stuff and said that you're a songwriter. I'm wondering like what genre of music like you write and do you like sing and stuff? Oh. So I, I write songs and then I work with um, vocalists and composers to make the music. So I, 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 I can show you guys actually. <laughs> so like my music, I don't know if you can hear it well on the live stream, but um, do you sing? Do you, do you sing yourself? Um, I do not like super well or professionally or anything like that, but yeah. Oh, um, that's awesome. Um, yeah, okay, so I'm this, I'm curious I'm trying to, too oh. about like, like driving in New York and if you have a car or like what grocery shopping is like for you having to carry things. Yeah, so I have a bad back, so sometimes I'll I'll do a combination of like Amazon um, for the heavy things or big waters. Um, but I, I live pretty close to Trader Joe's, so Trader Joe's is the cheapest in the city. So nice. I like going there for my groceries. Um, what about is do you have Trader Joe's? You said you're in Canada. I'm in Canada. We don't have a Trader Joe's. So. Oh okay. Yeah, um, yeah it's it's just a cheap cheaper grocery store. Um, Okay, I finally pulled it up. So my new music's like more poppy, like uh... <laughs> But um, <laughs> you guys can listen to it if you type in Outsource Feelings on Spotify. But I, I've worked with a lot of, I think it's kind of hard with like the static of the live stream, but um, yeah, I feel like New York's a great city to meet, meet different creatives and to go to different events when there's not a pandemic and just collaborate with lots of different people. That's super cool. I have one last question because I know that yeah. like, so many people have questions. And they want to try. <laughs> I know, I was, I was you surprised. Mentioned, like, <laughs> you mentioned like people watching and I'm wondering if you have ever in your time in New York met a celebrity or like gone to a taping of a talk show or something like that. Oh, yeah. So actually, I um, I went to the Trevor Noah one and somebody else that I can't remember. Who's the other one? Um, but I did a lot of background acting, actually. So I got to be like in the background of some of these shows like Law and Order and um, Tommy and The Politician, um, which is actually really easy in New York. All you really need to do is sign up with an agency and then they'll send you a text message saying like, hey, can you come background act? And then you just stand there for eight hours <laughs> to get a couple seconds <laughs> yeah. to film. You make minimum I wage. Minimum pay, but it's not anything close to like what it would be in New York or like as often. So yeah, yeah. so it's it's a fun city to try different things. Um, so what was the other question? 
Um, I think if you, you mentioned like people watching, I'm still wondering if you've ever like run into anyone like a celebrity. I feel like I have at events that were popular in the music scene there, but I didn't know who they were. So I look kind of dumb. <laughs> There, what was the band that I think it was called Atlas Genius, which they have like a had a pretty popular song. I met them at a party and didn't know who they were. Um, who else have I met? Uh, oh, I met uh, that guy, the guy from Gossip Girl before he like got famous on that you show again. Uh, Dan, I met him at he had a concert, he was opening for um, the Kooks, <laughs> and then afterwards I tried to talk to him, but he seemed like he didn't really want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> but I was probably like being an embarrassing fan, like, oh, you're so cool. <laughs> so that's about it. Any other can questions? Can you remind me of like, your Instagram? Sorry? Can you remind me of your Instagram? Yeah, so I'll type it in the chat. Oh, yeah, Penn Badgley. Cool. Somebody just put the name in. So if he's watching this live stream, sorry, I was really embarrassing. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll put my Instagram in the chat. And you guys feel free to um, send me questions or anything I can do to be helpful about the world of New York. <laughs> but nice to meet you. And thanks for popping nice in with a question. You. Okay, bye. Okay, it's time time for another question. Um, something that nobody tells you about New York City that New York City is a beautiful city but in the summer honestly it smells really bad <laughs> it's still worth it though but New York does smell very bad in the summer because there is a lot of garbage because there's a lot of people so that trash just starts to burn and smell and it's not the most enjoyable, pleasant experience, but um, but I still love New York, and there's there's pros and cons to any any place. Um, okay, so let's see more questions in the chat. Um, <laughs> the best hip hop nightclubs. I actually don't know because of the pandemic. I think I'd be able to tell you if things hadn't been closed down for a year. Um, more questions. Someone wants to uh, says I look Turkish. Cool. I get people think I'm from every country. I'm actually Italian. Italiano. <laughs> Ciao. Um, and Greek. And uh, I'm a melting pot of a lot of different things. Um, okay. So let's see who else is going to be in here. Who's next in line? Um, okay. So there's three. It looks like there's three people still trying to be in here. So if if you're not Puzz Mateo or um, Jamshid, then send a request to go live in here and I will let you answer your questions. So let's see, this person's gonna join? Because Harry keeps saying to add him, but I don't see him in the thing. Someone wants to know um, what I think about um, any kind of restaurant from Paraguay here. I actually haven't been to one in New York City, so that's something I'd like to try. Someone's from Peru. Um, okay, any other questions that I can help you guys out with? Okay, we're gonna add one more person and then I think the live stream might be done for tonight, but. We want to know if everything's open in New York. Um, so bars and restaurants are, um, but only with outdoor seating. So there's no indoor dining right now with the pandemic. Hi. How are you? Um, no, sorry. What? I don't know if I can see. Oh, I can, I can see. Kind of. Your head's a little bit off. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> How's it going? Okay. Where where are you from? I'm Veronica and I'm from Chile. Oh nice. Uh, hola. <laughs> I don't speak English like, like uh, muy bien. So my question is, my sister is gonna go to New York City on April. Mm -hmm. So she's looking for an um, Airbnb or some place to stay, mm -hmm. like some good place and safe and cheap. So, yeah. 
Yeah, there's um, an Airbnb. I think um, there's lots of Airbnbs now. Um, and one strategy I would tell her is if she sees it on Airbnb, um, she can negotiate because oh, okay. there's lots of availability. So if she sees something, she can message the host and say, hey, would you take $40 less a night, $20 less um, and negotiate on Airbnb? That's what I always do. And you can get better prices than what they say. Um, oh. I would also look at hotels just because um, right now, um, the pandemic, hotels are very inexpensive compared to how they normally are. Yeah, 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 I know. So I, I would recommend that. Um, if she's looking for um, like a safe place, um, I'm trying to think of what areas would be best for, I mean, any area around Times Square is good for, for travelers who want to see different sites. Um, but I'm in the Upper West Side, which is more residential and I feel very safe here. Upper West, Upper East. Um, East Village. Can you, can you write it down below, please? Yeah, yeah. Um, please, please. So East Village. I'll put some cool, fun places too um, that are also safe. I feel safe in all of these areas. So East Village, West Village, um, Chelsea. I mean, any area in New York, you just in in the world, you have to kind of be safe when you're traveling and don't just wave around money and cameras. <laughs> um, Where in Chile are you? What? I'm sorry? You said you're in Chile? Yes. Oh, which city? Santiago de Chile, the capital city. Oh, nice. I want to visit one day. Um, and in oh. <laughs> well, that's, that's great. <laughs> it's a beautiful city. Nice. Do you have any other questions that I can help answer? One more question. Yeah, sure. Uh, about the weather on April. Mm -hmm. so, I don't know. Weather? Oh, uh, What's I don't know, like which month is it now? So April should be pretty nice. I think April is a nice time because it's not too cold, not too hot. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and if Thank if, you. if she has any other questions, feel free to message the page, and we we can help with um, suggestions and recommendations. Okay. Thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. So nice. <laughs> Have a good night. Happy to help. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay, I think we got time for two more questions before my energy makes me fall asleep. <laughs> but it's been fun talking with all you guys. Um, I've never done one of these live streams on this page, but it's been cool to hear where you guys are all from. It sounds like everybody's from all over the world. So that's been, that's been cool to get to just jump on a live stream and talk to people from all over the place who want to go to New York. Hi, this is our next guest. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Fine, and you? I'm good. You want to introduce yourself to everybody? Uh, okay, I am Luis. I'm from Costa Rica. Oh, nice. And yes, I really love your page. And I wanted to ask you, well, actually, the other girl from Chile asked the same question that I wanted to uh, ask to you. But, uh, but I mean, um, I wanted to ask you, like, because I'm planning to go on July to New York City and mm -hmm. we want time of the year and also what is like the best I don't know if you have like some rooftops that you can recommend me to go to see like the sunsets yeah, so what was the first question you just broke up? I heard you were asking for rooftops, and what was the other question? From the rooftops. And the other one is like... If yeah, you know so there's a the lot of different... Oh, is... I'm sorry, I have a Ooh, bad connection, in... I think. Oh, that, that's okay. So in July, the weather is very um, hot. So, but you're, you're from Costa Rica, so you're used to hot weather, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, kind of. Uh, yeah, so the weather will be very warm. Um, but um, yeah, just make sure bring lots of shorts and drink lots of water. Um, but as far as places with rooftops, there's a new place called The Edge, which I see a lot of really amazing photography off of there. Um, so I would look up that. Um, there are a lot of hotels that I'm not a thousand percent sure which hotel rooftops are open during the pandemic. Um, mm -hmm. But there's um, one called 505 Rooftop. Um, there's the Standard Hotel. Um, I think if you, like if you actually just type into Google um, like top rooftop bars, okay. you'll there's 
the the names keep coming up um so let me just do this right now for you guys <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, I haven't, it's sad. I haven't been to a rooftop bar in a while just because a lot of things were closed this year. A lot are starting to, <laughs> and now it's so cold in the winter. Um, but yeah, there's um, a lot of different ones. Um, so yeah, top of the, the standard was nice that I've been to. There's another uh, one called Magic Hour, which has um, like cocktails that look like magic. <laughs> um, wow. Magic things. Oh, and Refinery the... Rooftop is a good one. Which one? Sorry. A re refinery rooftop. Refinery. Yeah, and one of my favorite rooftops actually is called Press Lounge, and I feel like a lot of tur tourists don't know about it because it's never that crowded, but the view is really amazing. Oh, okay, Press Lounge, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, thank you so much. And do you know if like uh, do you usually have to pay something to get into the to get to the rooftop, or is it? Free. Um, usually, I feel like if you really just wanted to go take a picture, you could, but I feel like you need to buy a drink or something, like just buy a soda, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, usually, so, it's like a restaurant or bars. Yeah, exactly. So, they're, yeah. they're restaurants and rooftop bars, but you can just say, hey, we're having a drink, and oh, if okay. you don't want to buy drinks, um, just buy a soda or something. Oh, great, great. Thank you well, so much. I hope much. you have a, really yeah, have a fun day. Definitely have a fun trip. And if you have questions, feel free to message the page. Okay, I will. Thank you okay, so much. Okay, take care. Goodbye. Bye. Um, so, okay, more questions. Um, so someone said they don't think rooftops are open during the pandemic. I think they're not open right now in, um, in winter time, some of them. But actually, a lot of rooftop bars were open when they started doing the outdoor dining. But the thing was, is they put um like big huge spacers in between everybody so everybody was socially distanced so there were even during last summer the more height of the pandemic um there was like a lot of um uh bars and restaurants that were still open okay my phone is almost gonna die so this live stream is gonna end end kind of soon even though it's been fun talking to you all you guys <laughs> someone wants to know what my plan for valentine's day is and i don't know <laughs> i need a valentine first <laughs> These are funny questions. Um, let's see. What's the most beautiful place you ever visited in New York City? I, I I will say this again. I love Central Park. I think Central Park is the most beautiful spot in New York City. Okay, so let's go back and see who else has a question. It looks like there's one more person who has a question. So this will be the last one if he picks up. If not, someone else can <laughs> pop in and ask their questions. Should I save the live stream? I can save the live stream. And if you guys would like to, um, for me to do more of these, let me know. And I, you can send questions to the page and then I'll answer them on the live stream. This has been fun talking to all you guys and hearing all your questions and seeing what you want to come to New York for. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so that person, I don't think it worked. Okay, it looks like oh, Paolo's trying to join. This will be our last caller of tonight if it works. And if not, someone else has an opportunity. Someone says, I'm a great host. That's very nice of you. Thank you. Ooh, favorite place to drink coffee. There's a place called Birch Coffee that I really like. Hi, how's it going? Morning, morning. Good morning. Hello? Hello? It looks like someone just joined. Do they know that they joined? <laughs> Hello? Uh, I don't know that this person know that they joined the live stream, but um, <laughs> okay, we have one time for one more person. So let's see if who else was requesting to be in the video. Someone wants to know how life is in the New York City winter. I love winter, so I think it's great. Summer, it's um, very hot and sweaty. Um, okay. Please live stream more often. Okay, I, I will do that for you guys. <laughs> Jump on the page. <laughs> Anything you guys have questions, feel free to message the page and I'm always happy to help. But it looks like all of our callers aren't, it's not working for some reason. But it's been a fun live stream. I'll do this again soon. Thanks for tuning in and nice to meet all you guys. Have a good night. Bye.